Don't yawn, this may be the 18th Marvel film we've seen in the last 10 years, but you're not going to be putting your feet up with this one. I waited my entire life for this. The world's going to start over. I'm going to burn it all. What happens now determines what happens to the rest of the world. After meeting Thor, Iron Man and Captain America himself, the Black Panther starts a new conversation by giving us our first black hero. Heir to the throne in the super advanced African nation of Wakanda, the Black Panther has to decide whether he'll use his nation's resources to help the world or just look after his own. The Black Panther flips the superhero formula on its head. There's no billionaires or Norse gods. We've got a guy from a developing nation who sees his people becoming a global power. Forget the stereotypes. Coming from a culture based in ancestral worship, the Black Panther respects tradition but wants to bridge the gap between his spiritual upbringing and modern day America. There's a lot to think about in the film when it comes to seeing what all cultures can contribute to the world and who we view as heroes. The Black Panther stands out from other hero flicks with its celebration of race but hits home with a message we can all understand. In times of division, the wise build bridges but the foolish build barriers.